Well, it snowed again. <laughs> a week ago from today, I was in uh, Middle Creek, Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area, and we were looking at all the snow geese and the tundra swans, and I was looking forward to the fact that spring was coming, and that, and that a week from that day would be March 1st. Um, not that March 1st is the first day of spring, but March is the month that spring comes in, so you know, you kind of hope that's gonna get warmer soon. And well, today is March 1st, and uh, it snowed, so. You know, instead of being disappointed and whatnot, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. The snow is beautiful, but you know, this time of year you're getting ready for spring, so. But anyway, instead of complaining and moping around at home, I decided to go out and embrace the snow and do a hike in it. It is beautiful out here, so we are gonna just do some hiking this morning. Um, I did have other plans today. I was gonna go do some fossil hunting and maybe look for a cool cemetery, but not gonna happen today. <laughs> Looking for fossils in the snow is not a good idea, so uh, I just decided to come out here. This is Swatara State Park. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I come here often. It's close to home, beautiful place to hike. So, um, I don't know what we're, all what all we're gonna find today. I'm just gonna walk along. I kind of know where I'm going. We may end up going off trail and stuff. So I just I'm just gonna be out here enjoying the weather, the scenery, and we'll see what we see together. All right. It is a beautiful day though. I mean, that, right down there's the uh, Swatara Creek. Got the snow clinging to the to the hemlock trees. No other tracks out here either. I'm the only one out here. Well, for now. Kind of a neat view just looking down the stream there. The uh, some of the remains of the Union Canal are down there. We may go, uh, actually we probably will see some other remains of the Union Canal. I think that's where I'm headed. There's a, a lock up here, lock number five. Kind of where I might be headed, I guess, so. I guess I might go off trail too, but we'll see. So I am just poking around off trail. There's a power line out here. It just comes out here and just ends. This is the only one here. It looks like there's a line that goes off that way. So whatever, you know, a power line just comes out here and ends. It usually means, means there was a old homestead out here. I do see what looks like a road going off that way. I should mention, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with this park, Swatara State Park here in uh, Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, uh, this, is, this, is what another, this was another one of those places that they took over by a eminent, doma eminent domain. They were going to build a dam here in a creek, and that never happened, but they, they kept the land and turned it into a park. So there were a lot of homes and stuff like that back here that got torn down for that. So anyway, I'm going to follow this little, uh, what looks like a little old roadway and see what we can find. I'm thinking around here somewhere, might be an old homestead. So... We'll see what we can find. Maybe nothing, but we'll see. Well, I'm not really seeing anything back here, so I'll go head back to the main uh, main trail. We'll keep on going from there, I think. I mean, there could have been something back here, but uh, time has a way of erasing that and the snow as well, so, but, uh, I think we'll call this a bust, I think. All right, I'll head back to the main trail. Well, I'm not going to head back just yet. I was mentioning going back, but then I saw there's some interesting things here. Those look like old railroad ties, almost. There's some old beams. They're kind of in the shape of a little foundation here. It's kind of obscured by the snow. These are definitely some old beams. This is one of those S-shaped things that they stick at the end of the some timbers, I guess, to think of, keep them from splitting. But you can kind of see the timbers right there. 
So there was something here. Maybe someone had like a little cabin. I thought I saw something down here as well. Oh yeah, there's a little section of a pipe right there. Piece of old pipe. There's one up there too, so... I'm guessing someone had a little... Maybe just a little cabin out here. You know, just off what used to be a road over here. I'm guessing. Well, we did find something a little interesting though, so I'm gonna keep on looking around. I'll probably start making my way back to the to the trail though. My camera's starting to act a little funny, so it just I was videoing earlier, it just shut off, so we'll see. This camera gets abused pretty bad, so anyway. We'll keep on going. Who knows how long this camera will last. Maybe it's maybe she's dying. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to the trail. kind of walking through a some of a pine forest here in the snow. It's always kind of a nice combination. Not following it, any trail. I did go back that trail but then shortly after that I got off trail again so just kind of wandering around. Nice under here. I ended up just walking around in a complete circle. I came upon these, another set of tracks in the woods here. And I realized, hey, the, those are my tracks coming from up that way. So I just kind of walked around a big circle and ended up right back kind of where I started from. So anyway, oh well. So I'm gonna head back to the main trail I was on earlier. I wasn't really paying attention where I was going. I was kind of looking around. Anyway, all right, let's get back to the main trail. All right, well, I'm going to turn here and head on what's called the uh, the Mifflin Trail. We had just come down from that area. And this does take you to lock number five on the Union Canal. And I should mention that this is not, this is what they call the Pine Grove extension of the Union Canal. That went from Lebanon up to Pine Grove. And this section only operated until like 1862, I think. And then there was a flood that wiped out a good portion of it, so I stopped using it. So, the lock number five is down here. It's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. And just like that, down there it is. It's actually a pretty impressive structure down here. One of the better maintained locks along the canal system. A lot of the other ones have been just completely destroyed or stripped of their uh, stonework. So we'll get down there closer in a moment. Pretty cool spot. And here we are down by the actual lock. All the way up there. So, and right here is the Swatara Creek. Of course, there was a, a dam, whoops, across the creek just further up. That's why this canal, why this canal lock seems to be kind of up and out of the creek. It's because this, where I'm standing now, would have been underwater, probably up to that little hillside there. So the canal boats would actually come in you know, from over here, because this all would have been a lake and they would have gone in there. And they would have closed, there would have been doors here that are closed and they would have raised the water level up and they would have continued on through the canal up that way. So. I 
I'm not sure if there's there's some ice there. I'm not sure if we're gonna walk across there. I don't want to get wet feet. But pretty cool structure out here. Like you can see, this one still has all its outer stonework. A lot of times that stonework gets stolen, and you, well, th these were abandoned, so I can't really say stolen. But they would get used to make other things like houses and stuff. It's nice stone, but this one's still completely intact. Pretty cool. We were just down there, but I've come and down and walked to the other end of the lock here. And you can see the actual canal bed in here. Let me just backtrack a little bit here. You can see this raised area here. This would have been like the towpath trail. Or over on that side too. And here's the other end of the canal, of the, of the lock, lock number five here. And then behind me was the canal, and you can kind of see the U-shaped mark in the ground there. So, you know, a hundred years ago, well, more than a, well, more than a hundred years ago, 150 years ago or so, there would have been boats going through here, you know, canal boats. Now it just looks like this, reverted back to woodlands and stuff. Interesting how things change over the years. It's interesting. I, I kind of wonder, you know, way in the future when they dig, you know, if they were digging this side up, you know, they were probably wondering what this spot was. So like if all, because sometimes, like if all history was lost and people started digging this side up, not knowing anything about the canal or anything, what, what would they think this was? You know. Anyway, I just thought of that. All right. We were just up there, but on this end somewhere is where the dam would have been that went across to Sotara Creek here, because there's a lot of high ground over there, so I think it was called the Mifflin Dam. And of course on this side would have been a lake then, like I mentioned earlier. And right over there is the Sotara Rail Trail, the old railroad bed. Alright, well I'm going to explore around here a little bit, just a little bit more. Um, Wherever these locks were, they also had a lock keeper's house. There was a dude that had to live here, not necessarily year round, but during the during the months that the canal was open, he had to be the one to open and close the doors. So I'm just gonna mosey around a little bit, see if I can find any remains of that. A lot of times they were just little dinky little houses, so there probably isn't much left. But I'm just gonna have a look around, see if there is. Yeah, so right over there is a lock. There are quite a few. There's a kind of a flat area right here with a lot of kind of hard to see, but there is a lot of rocks here. Maybe it could maybe it could have been the foundation of a home, but as you can see, this area is severely uh, overgrown. I don't think I'm gonna find much of anything in here unless it's all cleared. So, but I might poke around just a little bit more, and we'll head on out of here. And back up behind the lock. Could be another spot for the lock tender's house, but anyway, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I know people people used to uh, dump back here too, so maybe that's just waste rubble and stuff that was dumped back here. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Got a nice little walk in. Got to see some cool history, old canal. But uh, I'm gonna head on back. Um, I don't think I'll film anything more unless I see something cool, um, but I, I doubt that will happen. I haven't seen really any wildlife, no birds or anything out here today, so. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me on another little adventure. This is not one that I wanted to do today, but it's the one we did. So, hey, but, you know, get to get out in the woods, see the beauty of, see the beauty of a fresh snowfall. I'll take it. So, anyway, I will see you around, and hopefully I get... Hopefully uh, some more spring-like weather comes that we can get out and do some other types of videos that I have planned to do. All right, I'll see you around.